Well, hello, hello, hello. It's Vegas Bully C. And I was working out at the gym and I was 52 minutes into my hour and I saw a comment come in on one of my YouTubes from this morning, which triggered me. And this is why I have YouTube is because if I don't have YouTube to get these thoughts, these emotions out into the universe, I'll go insane because it will all just bottle up inside of me. So here we go. First of all, a guy ran down to Starbucks and he wants me to promote his company. I am not promoting his company uh, because I don't take money from anybody, but I think this is a super cool product. And I tried to hook him up with some people. It's called the Las Vegas Key to the City. His name is Tim. Tim had so much personality and was so insane and so proactive that I walked away from the meeting with him actually high. I mean, the guy's personality actually got me high. So I told him I do not take money, uh, but it's a cool product because you can get into nightclubs like the Encore. That was the one thing that stood out to me. You can get into the Encore uh, through a secret door, no line, no fee. This is what the key looks like. He gave it to me. You see, he gave me this key. I'm not even gonna enable it. I'm not even gonna go on his website and enable it because I'm not out here to get stuff. I'm out here to build a business. I'm out here to do something with my life. We have the taco shop, it's doing crazy. Uh, I'm happy. I don't take money from people because then I'm gonna owe them something. Then my mind is gonna become encumbered. Then I won't be able to create. Then I'll feel duplicitous. But anyway, someone on a YouTube accused me and said, well, thank you for telling the truth about the fact that on February 7th, you're gonna go with the taco shop and you're not lying this time. I've never lied about anything I've gotten. And not only have I never lied about anything I've gotten, and I think the first thing I got was that dinner at Chubby, Cabble, at Chubby Cattle eight or 10 months ago. That was the first thing I got. Not only have I not lied about anything, I go out of my way to not get anything, to not take anything, okay? But since this jackass who's on my YouTube triggered me, and I don't care how many people watch this YouTube, I need to do this for my mental sanity. Since this jackass triggered me, I wrote down every single thing I've gotten free since I've been in Las Vegas. Could I have possibly, I've never gotten cash from anybody. That's number one. And could I have possibly missed something? Maybe, but I don't think I did. So I wrote it out for you. The first thing that I got was dinner at Chubby Cattle. I did a video with Mahi and I left $100. Okay, that was the first promotional piece that I did. I actually cried when those people contacted me and said they wanted to use me. That's how lost in the woods I am. Number two, I got dinner at a strip place that I did not like a place on the strip. They charged me $100 for the dinner, which they weren't supposed to charge me. I left $100. I did not make a video. I lost $200 on that restaurant on the strip where I never made a video. Number three, I had dinner at another strip restaurant. I didn't love it. I just couldn't do a video. I left a $100 tip. This was the big one I got. I got three nights at the Circa, two in an incredible room. Shout out to the guy at the Circa. I forgot his name because that's how ridiculous I am. I can't remember his name. He gave me three nights. He was amazing with me. It was the first promotional thing I ever did. I told everybody that the circuit was giving me that. I got a $700 dinner at Barry's. His name was Richard Wilk. That was his name, okay? It just came to me. I left a $200 tip. They treated me like a king. They comped everything. I probably made 15 videos. I got well over a million views. I love the place. The next thing I got was two nights and $2,000 in free food at the win for doing the Concord Auto Show. I only spent $200 out of the 2,000 on food because I'm not an eater. Uh, and I made at least seven videos and I love the place. I got two football games from the win. I paid for neither. I loved it. I probably made five videos. I got lunch at Mignon, which is a uh, Mediterranean street food place. I did not ask for the comp, but I made a video of them. And when I went in the next time, they're like, you're that guy. You're the guy that made that video. And they gave me free lunch. I've never gotten a single thing from Spiegel's Bagel Mania. I met Steve Siegel, he's a fantastic guy, I really like him. I've never gotten a single thing from them, I paid for every single thing I've ever eaten over there. I went to Omnia, I got a table and a comp bottle, I left $200, I made four videos. I went to Dre's, you guys are gonna love this story, I hope you made it to four minutes to hear this story. I was invited to Dre's, they saw me and the guy that I was with, and they wouldn't even give me a table. So I got invited there as an influencer, they took a good look at me and the guy that I was with. They saw, you know, that I'm not visually appealing in any way. And they said to me, I'm sorry, we can't have you here. I still made a video uh, because I felt bad for the kid who invited me and I left. And I have nothing bad to say about Dre's. I, to I, I totally understand you don't want me there. I got no problem with that. 
Uh, they wanted girls. I understand that. I'm not even angry about it. I made the video. You guys have made, seen the video with Dre's. But what you don't know is I wasn't allowed into Dre's. Uh, I mean, I love that story. If that doesn't show what's going on with Vegas policy, I don't know what else is. I got invited to win New Year's. They didn't care what I looked like. They put me up on stage with the chain smokers. They gave me a bunch of shots. I made a whole bunch of videos. They didn't give me a table or anything like that. Great people, great people. They didn't, they didn't care uh, that I'm awkward and not attractive. I got dinner at the Plaza for New Year's Eve. It was comp by Jonathan Jossel. I had a great time. I made several videos. I got dinner at Pier 88 on Spring Mountain. It's a seafood place. The guy was super nice to me. I made two videos and he put a Vegas Pauly C drink on the menu. I went to the Top of the World, prepared to pay for dinner, Top of the World restaurant at the Strat. I love the view. I wanted to make a video. I made my video and the middle of dinner, the general manager swooped in and paid for my dinner after the video was made. I left a hundred dollar tip. Great guy. I forgot his name, but he was a great guy. I went to Hakkasan. I was invited to Hakkasan. They actually gave me a table. I made several videos. Uh, oh no, I never went to Hakkasan. I got invited to Hakkasan. I made several videos. I got nothing for it. Uh, and I could go there anytime I want, but I don't want to go to Hakkasan and make people uncomfortable that I'm there. Um, so I made a couple of videos. I got nothing from them. Great people. Tao Group. Super nice people. Super nice to me. I got invited to a restaurant at MGM. I've got the name of it. It was like Lucini or something like that. The food was good. I didn't pay for the food. It was a free meal. I made a video of the Sunday gravy. It was a $79 uh, meal uh, that comes, and I thought it was a great value, and I made a, uh, a video about that. I did not pay for dinner. I left a $100 tip. I was invited to the Fontainebleau opening. I didn't go because of all the discomfort. Uh, Poppy invited me to dinner at Poppy's Steakhouse. I didn't go because I'm uncomfortable there and the tip alone probably would cost me two, $300. That steak is $1,000 and I gotta do the steak show. I got invited to dinner at Komodo by David. Great, great guy, great guy. I didn't go, I'm uncomfortable going to a super expensive restaurant like that. So I've never accepted anything from the Fontainebleau in any way, shape or form, even though I was invited to the opening I was invited to two dinners. I was invited to this. I was invited to that. You all know why I really can't go to the, to the Fountain Blue. I told you from day one that there were issues there. So this turned into an eight-minute video. Uh, but I think it gives you an idea of what's going on out here with me. And maybe it gives you a little more depth into my personality. Vegas Paulie C.